point. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit! What the? Okay, this takes you to the front entrance of the jail. <laughs> What's going on? Did you just not hear? I heard something from there. I thought that was you. The solitary part. Yeah, I thought where, that was where you. Where did you get touched? Where... Ruthie, did you scare me? Were you standing in front of me? Are you standing around me right now? No. 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 Then who is? Okay, so. Where... That's a no. Yeah, that's a no. Oh, oh, I knew it. I told you guys. I knew it. On myself. I'm Mo Sarji. Hey, that's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, right to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we we lost lost the battle. Battle. Ah. Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another late night paranormal investigation. We are still in this haunted jail, Canada's oldest jail. If you haven't seen part ones and twos, go back on my channel and look at them. And if you haven't seen the behind the scenes on my second channel, the link for that is down below. I got Randy sitting over there in the darkness. I'm doing an alone challenge in Canada's oldest jail museum. So this thing is going to, it's going to get creepy. It's super duper late right now. It is actually currently 11 p.m. And we've been here since the afternoon. We've been documenting, filming, doing paranormal investigations for the other episodes that we filmed here that you guys have probably already watched. Now I'm about to actually do something really scary, which is something that most people don't do here. And I think we're the first people to do this. I'm going to be walking around this jail all by myself in the darkness. Everyone on the team is going to be waiting here in the classroom. Who the f*** is in front of me right now? Did someone just walk by Rennie? No. Where are you? Right here. Oh. Right here. I just seen someone like literally walk by there. <sighs> In episode one, I seen, I literally seen a female, a giant female floating across the hallway with the tip of my eye wearing a white gown and that's something that's been known to happen by paranormal investigators in this jail. This isn't an abandoned place. This used to be Canada's oldest prison. Now it's a museum. Now throughout the investigations, we had a lot of scary things happen upstairs, which I'm really not looking forward to going in by myself. I'm gonna freak out, I know I am. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a walk and go and explore alone in the dark while Angelo, Omar, Chelsea, and uh, Rennie and Elliot all wait here. So yeah. You guys have peace. rest in peace to most RG. All right, smash like button, guys. Subscribe to my second channel, the vlog channel. I post daily vlogs there. I love you guys. Pray for me. All right, you guys. Here we go. Here we go. The adventure begins. Most of the lights in this prison are off. Some of them we can't turn off. Some of them we can't turn on. And I'm going to be rolling unedited throughout this entire video. So I'm very terrified. <laughs> so whatever happens, if I mess up with my talking, I'm really sorry. But this whole video will be unedited. I am in the dark. I do have a K2 meter with me. It has been going off all night long throughout these investigations. As you guys can see, it's going berserk right now. This place has so much paranormal activity inside of it. It's unreal. Look at this. This K2 just wants to explode. So there is no one else in here. Um, Angelo, Elliot, Omar, and Chelsea are outside in the yard filming a different video, and I'm in here alone right now. First one to oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Ooh, that was my fault. That was my fault. I did not see a ladder there, and I kind of tripped over it. So earlier today, as we were filming in the cell behind me, I'm kind of scared to stand next to it. Please God, protect me. I actually picked up 
on something really scary. I took a bunch of photos. You guys will see it in the other episodes if you can go back and watch the other episodes. I picked up a photo of a shadow figure sitting at that table and its actual face... It, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, I didn't see that. Its actual face in the reflection. I'm so f***ing terrified right now. <sighs> focus, Mo. Focus, focus, focus. The reason why I can't focus is because I can't see a thing. We've had this cell open on its own. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Let's see if I get anything on the K2 meter in here. Hello, spirits? Are you with me? Communicate with me if you're here. Don't be shy. Not getting anything on the K2 in here. So it's a good indication that there's, oh, 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 it's, it's started going off right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's starting to get something. You want to close a door or open a door? I won't be that scared. Something's moving over here. What's moving over here? Ruth, Ruthie, are you here? Is little Ruthie with me? So little Ruthie is the warden's daughter, if you guys missed the other episodes. And she's been very active in this prison today. Little Ruthie, are you in this room? So when I was here earlier in the other episodes, um, we were using the flux and we were asking yes and no questions and little Ruthie told us that she was here. God, I love how that balloon just starts spinning now. It wasn't spinning when I walked in. Okay, so let's keep going. I know you guys have already seen these cells. The whole point of this video is for me to walk around all by myself and just basically document and see what's up. Now this here is the area that really scares me. This is the area where when you come to this museum for a tour, they dare you to come in here all by yourself. My camera's going really blurry in here for some reason. Are there any spirits in here that wanna make my K2 go off? I'm gonna go in this bedroom, or prison cell, I should call it, not even a bedroom. <gasps> Who's there? There's, there's something moving in that prison cell. Who's in here? Close that door if you're here. Oh God, this is terrifying. This is absolutely Maddening to be in here alone Not an orb in sight If you guys have spotted anything in the darkness Make sure you let me know in the comments below Spam the comments. Let me know what time you guys are seeing all this So I went into this room maybe I stepped on something I don't think I did there's nothing to step on it's all concrete here But it sounded like someone was moving in here Is there anything in here? Oh, should I just touch this? I'm on edge right now. Can you guys blame me? Fuck. Man. Every little thing is scaring me here. And it's not like I could just turn the lights on. I really can't. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this room because it literally is terrifying me. What's through here? Okay, this takes you to the front entrance of the jail. Ah, what the f***? What the f***? Woo! 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 
I don't know what just happened. I seen something there. I felt something touch me there. I heard something moving there. I can't do this. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I can't do this. This whole thing's been unedited. What's down there? I don't know if I psyched myself out. I don't know what just happened. Fear is no joke. If you guys are here, make a door open and close. Stop with me. Rennie? I can't go, I'm sorry. I, I really can't. I'm like so terrified to the point. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god, dude. Oh shit! Oh my god! I, I just saw you run. Oh my god. What? Please tell me you were back there. I was in the classroom the entire time. Oh my god, you didn't hear me screaming? We did. Angelo and I heard you Oh screaming. my god, guys, literally that was not a joke. Angelo's back there now. <sighs> Dude, I went to the beginning, like to where all the solitary is, all by myself in the dark. Mm -hmm. Something touched me, something moved. I'm completely still filming unedited from the beginning. Yeah. And I literally ran and I fell like fell through the stairs like, like I fell into the stairs Dude, I'm not joking something is f***ing there right now in, in the solitary part of the in the solitary part. You're coming with me. I'm not going back alone I don't dude. That was the scariest f***ing thing. I've ever we, we heard you scream. You guys heard me scream. Oh, yeah. oh my yo I'm not shitting. I got that all on camera. Yeah, Angelo and I heard you scream. I'm like, ah, he's, he's fine. No, he's fine. I'm not fine. And, and I'm, I, I was sitting on the stairs waiting for you guys to come and help me. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. But wait, did you, did you see anything there? Or did you, I did felt you the presence. I felt the presence of something. What was that? Okay, now now I'm I'm at the point where I'm too scared. To now, even... now this is the thing, though. You have that heightened sense of fear, right? So you're gonna attract something to you. I think you should go back there alone. Again, use it. I'm, I'm literally. I terrified. know, I know, I know. You're terrified. The you're, K2 you're was going crazy. But, but... I heard a door moving inside. I went into one of the rooms where the beds were, and the, the, there was something moving there. Like that's but what. But that's the thing. If we want, if we want to see something of authentic happen, something genuine. Yeah, like everything we use those here. Sense, do it. Go back <sighs> alone. I think, wait, wait, how, how, how long is this video? Nine minutes, okay? okay. I think it's Rennie's turn. I, 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 yeah, I, it's I, your, I'm I, gonna I, sit here and drink my coffee. I can't, I, I really can't move forward. You know me, I don't usually I get know. scared. If I'm really scared, then I, I will not go back there. Like, it's no joke. So, like, so the solitary part. The solitary part. Like, I'll stand here. If you want me to come with you, I'll come with you. I'm literally scared for you right now. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I hurt my back running into the staircase. I'm going to regret this. I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna do it just because I wanna, I wanna I've never capture been, something. I've never been so scared in my life. Like I, 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 I wanna capture something. Okay, go. Yeah, so. Fuck, I thought I was gonna die in there. Oh, I'm already regretting this. Mo does not scare easily. And he is freaking out, so that leads me to believe that there is actually something authentic over here. So where I am looking right now, that is where he said he felt something touch him, presence. I swear to God, I am getting goosebumps right now. And just, just, just literally straight ahead of me is, is where it is. So this, guys, is where Mo felt something touch him.
And I, I'm feeling fear. That, that's what I'm feeling, like an extreme sense of fear. So I, I'm in solitary right now, guys. This is, this is where Mo was. This is where he felt the presence. feeling anything. I'm not seeing anything. Wow. You guys do not understand just how creepy it is to be in this section of the building alone in the dark right now, using nothing but night fish. I am solely relying on the camera when I'm over in that area over there. And I have this heightened feeling of fear. I feel like the adrenaline surging through my body. All right, let's go back. Oh, okay, I, uh, I didn't capture anything on film, but when you're over in that area of the building, yeah. all alone, relying nothing but the night vision, yeah. you have like this heightened sense of like fear, and like I felt yeah. like the adrenaline yeah. just surging through my body. Did you, you know? go, did you go upstairs? Upstairs? I didn't go to death row. No? No, I only went to where you went to, to the solitary part so, of the building. So, so... <laughs> so you want to go together? No, 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 no. That... Wait, you were only gone for three minutes! I don't care! <laughs> That's enough, okay? I sat down on that bed in solitary, yeah. and I, I didn't capture anything, but I felt it. Like, the goosebumps, and like... Yeah. I felt like my neck starting to seize up, like... There is something in the air out there, so... Let's go into solitary. No, no, no. Let's you're, go to solitary going, together. So, no, okay, no, no. I'll go to solitary with you. Yeah, we're gonna but do... But you are going to... We're gonna try the flux place. out. We're gonna try the flux out in the solitary. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay completely quiet for this one. Not gonna say a word. So in case we do hear anything, you guys are gonna hear it. So here we go. We're gonna keep it unedited. Upstairs is death row, and it's, it's terrifying up there. Here we go. No more talking. put this thing right here and we're, we're gonna see if we're gonna get anything from it here this is supposed to be one of the most haunted hallways in this prison we should go into the solitary part though I will let's try up. I have to ask you first whoa, 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 what was that what? oh oh something's affecting me. Oh, wait here, get away from it get away from it stay over here okay you're on that side Who's with us? So, something's interfering with it. Right? There you go. So, I just touch it, you guys see I interfere with it. So something was interfering with that too. Are there any spirits in this hallway with us? Green for yes, red for no. Oh! It went blue. What? <gasps> There's something with us. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. So, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on? Did, did you just not hear it? I heard something from there. I thought that was, was you. the solitary part. Well, yeah, I thought well, that was where you. Where did you get touched? Where did you get touched exactly? At the first door over there. Okay, no, I didn't even I, make, I didn't I, make it down here. I went to fucking solitary. Oh. Solitary. Little Ruthie, is that you? She's hitting green. Yeah. She's hitting green, guys. Whoa, what the hell's going on? I've never seen it do that. Yeah. 
Something's trying to communicate with us on this. Ruthie, is that you? Dude, it sounds like an SOS signal. Are you in that prison cell? Little Ruthie! Are you in solitary? Solitary. We just got another green. Solitary. Do you want to hurt us? Why is it doing that? I don't know. I think it wants us to go into solitary. Alright, we're going to solitary. Do you want to hurt us? Ooh. You didn't make oh. it in here? No, I didn't. I sat on the goddamn bed. I didn't bed. make it halfway in I here. I went to the goddamn bed. I have a high, high int, high int level of fear right now. That's exactly what I had when I was in this room. All right, so we're gonna leave it on the bed here. Ruthie, communicate with us on this device, or what other other spirit is in here? Hold this. So we're literally filming this unedited just to show you guys how much shit there is in this jail. Like, I never heard of this place, but I'm happy we came here. What's it doing? I don't, I don't know. It shouldn't be doing that. Try resetting it. Okay, I've reset it. If a door slams behind us, dude, I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, what? Is it on red? So, let me just show you guys, if I get close to this, it's gonna go off, just like that, only if I get close. So whenever something affects this thing, it starts to go off. Is the devil here? Satan, are you here? Um, Ruthie, are you in here with us? Hmm. What? Hmm? Oh, I thought there was something on your mind. No, what do you mean? Okay, let's ask a, let's ask a question. How many spirits, are there two spirits here? Are there three? Is the devil here? Yes for green, no for red. Do you want to hurt us? If you guys missed episode one, they had a patient here, and I talked about this. Or not a patient, why am I saying patient? This wasn't a hospital, this was a prison. They had a prisoner that they called the devil because he had done such atrocities. He beheaded his wife with an ax. In front of his son. And then he tried to kill himself with that same ax. He wasn't successful. He had a big hole in his head. When he got to this prison, he put a spike through his brain and killed himself. That's why they called him the devil. He also showed no remorse when he killed his wife and he watched him dig, he literally watched him dig his own grave or, or something like that. When he was being hung in the gallows? Yeah. The, uh... Wait, no, he killed himself with a spike. That was a different guy. Oh, oh yeah. my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the devil here. Do you want us to leave? I love how we're not getting anything right now. No. We'll stay here all night long if you want us to. We're not getting anything. Else. Nothing. Maybe you were right. It was in the hallway where we were getting the majority of the. Uh... Dude, the hallway is the scariest. Yeah, and that's thing where ever. you felt the presence too. One that's of the reasons true. why the hallway scares me, like we're in a room, we're backed into a corner. Yeah. The hallway, there's just open doors. I don't know what's gonna grab me, and something did grab me out there. Okay, let's go back there then. It's only going off right now because I'm holding it. We're keeping this unedited. Oh, jeez. Oh. What was that? What, what? Something just moved over here. All right, so we have the machine standing here in the middle of the hallway. If anything interferes with it, we'll know. We're waiting for you to do something. Okay, good. Now we can ask it a question when it goes blue. So when it goes blue, it means it's, it's calibrated again and it's ready to take on more questions. Did you touch me in this hallway? 
That's just Angelo in the distance there. Can you move that chair that's just in front of you? Or in front of the... That blinking light that's on the ground. Can you move the chair that's in front of it? Ruthie, did you touch Mo? Ruthie, did you scare me? Were you standing in front of me? Are you standing around me right now? No. 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 Then who is? Okay, so... What that's a no. Yeah, that's a no. If this isn't Ruthie, then who is it? No, we have to ask a specific yes or no question. Are you a male or a female? Are you a man who touched Mo? Were you one of the prisoners that murdered people here? After we're done our investigation in here, we're going to be going outside. No, first you're going to go upstairs to death row alone. I was trying to avoid that. No, I know <laughs> you were. I know you were, doom. but you need to do it. We need to use this high At the end of, of this video, we're going to be going outside to where there's actual bodies buried, where the gallows were, and we're going to be using dousing rods to see where there's graves, because no one really knows the graves are unmarked, but the dousing rods apparently help, um, help people locate the graves. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Do you want to hurt Mo? I'm Mo, by the way. Do you want to hurt me? Do you want to hurt me? Are you angry? All right. I think what you should do is take it with you upstairs. With the I don't vision. want to go upstairs. I know you don't, but that's the thing. We have I to use this heightened to... sense of fear and adrenaline that we got going on right now and utilize it. Did you see that? I don't oh, no, that was, no, that, that was just because you got near it. Never mind. I don't want to go upstairs alone, dude. I freaked out over here. Did he even go upstairs alone? Huh? He has uh, not yet, no. I, I was in here alone, and I went into this room, and I literally heard something moving in here, and it felt like something touched me. So I started freaking out, because you know when you get so scared that you freak out and you can't see in front of you? I ran into the staircase. In case anyone's curious, this is Elliot, our tour guide. Yes, I'm a tour guide. He's a supervisor. Is Fair Elliot the awesome? Tell him, tell him what your channel is or your pages. Phantoms of Yore. Phantoms of Yore. Really awesome guy right here. And uh, he's been helping us out. He has a lot of information here today. This place is mega active, guys. There's it, something It here. really is, yeah. I, don't, I still don't want to go upstairs alone. No, no, sorry. that's the thing. Stop procrastinating. Dude, I'm terrified take to go alone. Take the camera. <sighs> We've been rolling through this unedited, by the way. Like, 24 minutes unedited, and we've had some shit happen. All right, I'm gonna go upstairs alone. I'm gonna breathe. Randy, you're waiting for me right here at the bottom of this staircase. And if you move from here, we're no longer friends. All right, all right. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh God. The fact that I know there's this creepy doll up here that we kept moving in the other episodes freaks me out. This is the area where they were basically keeping on the inmates on death row. Fuck me, I'm not going in here. Ooh. What? It, what was that? <laughs> what was that noise? I'm terrified, I can't go in there alone. I can't, I'm, I'm frozen, I literally can't. All right, you guys wait here, okay? If you hear me scream, you run upstairs. Sure. Okay, here we go. At least that will be more comforting for me. Oh, oh shit. There's a step there. So this is where death row was. What if we just lie to them and tell them that I went in here? But then I'd be lying to you guys and I don't want to do that. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the flashlight on. <laughs> I don't care. I want to see. Like, I'm terrified in here. All right, here we go. Death row. This is where a lot of these spirits were. I mean, a lot of these. Oh shit, what the f is that? Something just moved. Something just moved over here. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell myself. Oh, what the f was that? What the f was that? Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo. I'm not scared of any ghost. 
I'm not scared of any ghost. I don't even care anymore. You want to get me? Get me, ghost. Something just moved up here, and I don't know what it was, because I can't see a thing, even though I have a flashlight lit. All right, here we go. I'm going to go to these cells. There's the doll. That creepy-ass doll. I'm walking away from the doll, and I'm going to go back downstairs. So I did it, right? This counts. This counts. This freaking counts. Hey, who, who closed this door? Oh. There's no way these guys didn't do that to me. There is no way this door was closed. They're fucking with me now. They know I'm scared. They're doing this to me on purpose. I hope so. I hope it was them. I really do hope it was them. Because that, that's what we heard. That door closed. Hey, assholes, who closed the door on me? Where are these guys? They're in the coffee room. <sighs> Bro, my freaking fear today. <laughs> Seriously, who closed the door on me upstairs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got that smirk on your face, asshole in the Red Bull. It wasn't me, actually. Yeah, it wasn't you. Who closed the door on me upstairs? <laughs> Bro, the door slammed on me. Are you kidding me? Someone slammed the door freaked me out. I think I pooped my pants. <laughs> I'm done with this shit for today. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. So don't ask why, but I got the brilliant idea of deciding to go upstairs and exploring death row by myself. I don't know why I'm doing this, uh, but I'm hoping, hoping that maybe We'll capture something on camera, if we do it. Seems that whenever we split up and go our own separate ways, we capture something authentic. So I'm hoping that we get something. So Mo, I'm not gonna lie, has some balls for deciding to wanting to come upstairs here by himself. So I can literally not see anything other than what I am looking through the screen. And what you guys are basically seeing is the only thing that I can see too. I can literally not see a single foot ahead of me. That is how dark it is upstairs here. I could have sworn I just heard something behind me. So I'm going back toward the area where we saw the doll and there she is over there straight ahead <sighs> I'm not seeing anything guys I don't know if maybe if you're paying attention closer than I am but so far so good tell me guys in the comments below if you see anything in the dark Oh, she's not rocking. That's a good sign for me. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of freaked out. So I'm gonna cut it short up here by myself in death row. Again, hard to see, but yeah. I was hoping to see and capture something on camera, but didn't pan out. All right guys, now we are outside in the courtyard. Someone here is buried and we're gonna use dowsing rods to end off this video for you guys. <laughs> okay. So there's supposed to be a grave here? Somewhere, Somewhere. in this Somewhere. courtyard. We don't know where it is. Somewhere in the courtyard, okay. Wait, why does she have two shadows? Huh? Just two sources of light. <laughs> oh, shit, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Listen, we're all on edge here. We've been here all night filming. A lot of things have been happening here tonight. It's creepy. Can you point me in the direction of the grave? graves are they moving on their own yeah holy shit you can use my energy if you need to show me where the bodies are so we're there okay okay i'm gonna walk this direction when i'm over the grave cross cross the rod for a yes well this is cool 
Oh, they just crossed. Well, is that it? Not yet. They want me to go this way. So they actually said over seventy percent. They just crossed. Oh yeah, look at that, guys. I wonder if that's the spot. So they could be here in the snow somewhere. Would be right under where I am. I didn't bring a shovel, did you? Um, I have one, but I left it in. I don't, I don't think we're allowed to dig for graves here. Yeah, uh, we're not going to so. do that. So Chelsea marked this area here where there could possibly be a grave. Interesting. Huh? Oh, I thought you heard something too. No, I heard From something. The yeah. It kind of sounded like something like moved really quick, right? Cool. And then there was that. Oh, the barbed wire. So for for those of you that did not see episode one, you guys got to go back and see episode one and two. And um, we talked a lot about certain creatures. It looks like there's a guy up there at the gallows. It's okay, thank you, though. Oh my god, look! Is that a guy at the gallows? Is that the... Yo. It looks like it looks like that's a guy on the wall. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's like right. an imprint. Right? Yeah, like an imprint of a guy. It just appeared out of nowhere. Was that here earlier? Really? I don't remember that being here. So they talk about they talk about the shadow guy being out here, right? Yeah. The big shadow guy that I seen inside in the episode one. I feel like we are standing over something. Like, yeah. supposedly there's more than three people buried here, yeah. um, but they don't document. So they have absolutely no idea whether. Where, where I'm standing, try your dowsing rods over here. I have a very strange feeling where I'm standing exactly right here. So come stand over here. I've marked the ground for you. Okay, if there's a body under me, can you cross the rods? Oh my! Oh, I knew it. I told you guys. I knew it. Thing is, it can't excavate the ground. No. I called that, right? I yeah, called that. I, I had a feeling. Oh, man. That is surreal. Angelo, yeah. you just missed it. So, where I'm standing right now, I told Chelsea to bring the dowsing rods over here. I have a feeling something crazy will happen here. She stood here and they crossed instantly. Oh, for real? Yeah, we got her on camera. So that's awesome. So then there's one more grave now that we have to find. As soon as you guys started like yelling, I heard this really weird, it sounded like a voice. What's through there though? It's just like another side of the building. Really? Yeah. So let's go and see what that is guys. I haven't seen what's over there. Whoa. So this is another part to the jail that no one gets access to. Like we're like the only people that have ever gotten access to this. Over here, it looks like this was a a really maximum secured off area. Isn't this amazing? Whoa. Let's go back and see if the guy is. <gasps> Jesus Christ, where did you come from? He's checking out like the area. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> wow, Rennie, you scared me. Third time. Yeah. That other side is really creepy over there. Did you guys get a hit on number three? It brought you back over here? Yeah, and then it crossed again. I wonder if you could tell it to uncross. Let's try. Can you uncross the rods, please? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh my god. Now, can you point me in the direction of another grave? Ask them for their name. Any of those names? Ooh. It just crossed. It just crossed. And if you notice, she's not moving her hands at all. That's crazy. Can you uncross the rods? Almost instantly. Thank you. Wow. Wow. So Chelsea's over here still looking for the other graves. Right by the hanging tower. Literally looks like there's someone above her on the wall, but I don't know what that is. This is very tense. So 
So those dowsing rods are leading her towards a grave right now. They just turned. It seems like it's leading her back to the spot that I first told her about. not see the way that oh no I didn't see it I didn't see it. I wasn't looking Whoa, now it's going down. yeah it's going like the other way now again. Ooh, is that where I marked it on the ground yeah that's exactly where I marked where I was standing that's interesting that's the shadow man spot though yeah that's what the, he literally just yeah I know he said that the story is the shadow man was just standing there yeah. not moving while the prisoners looked at it and huh. interesting all right so I Sorry, sorry to cut you off, but I'm willing to bet it was this guy that closed that door. No! Yep, he closed the door. No. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out to Omar over here, shout out to Chelsea, shout out to Angelo, and shout out to Rennie, and uh, shout out to Elliot as well. He told you guys, he told, what was his paranormal what? Phantoms, Phantoms of Yore. Phantoms of Yore? Phantoms of Yore. Awesome guy too. Um, thank you to him, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.